Hey there, how's it going everybody? So today I have another DIY project I want to share with you. We're going to be converting an everyday garbage can and turning it into a rain barrel. This is a quick and easy, low cost way to start collecting some rainwater today. You're not going to want to miss it. Alright, so to complete this project, you only need a couple different tools. You need a drill and a hole saw. This is 1 and 3 8 inch, and if you don't have a hole saw, you can also use a step bit. This is very valuable for all sorts of different projects. They're a little bit expensive up front, but they take the place of many different size bits and hole saws. And as far as material goes, all you need is this rain barrel garden spigot. This is a complete kit. This will work on 55 gallon plastic drums or garbage cans. The best part is it's very low cost, $12 for the whole thing. Check the link below if you're interested in learning more. So the adapter at the end here allows you to connect a garden hose. You can also just pull that out and connect any type of spigot to it. And then the bulkhead section comes in two different pieces. And this part here is going to go on the inside of the barrel. And once everything is tightened down, this gasket is going to help keep a watertight seal. So the first step is to drill a hole near the bottom of the garbage can. Two to four inches is good. And the easiest way to accomplish this is to lay the garbage can on its side. And don't apply too much pressure. Let the tool do the work. And in just a couple seconds time, you're going to have a perfect hole ready to accept this garden spigot kit. All right, so here's those three parts. And here's how it's going to work. We're going to go in from the inside of the barrel and screw in the bulkhead. Now while applying pressure on the inside, we'll just screw on the other end of the bulkhead adapter and get it nice and tight. Now we're just going to screw on the spigot. But before you do that, you're going to want to put on a bit of Teflon tape. This is just going to help to prevent any leaks at that connection point. Now when applying the Teflon tape onto threads, you always want to do it in the opposite direction that you're screwing your fitting into. So if we're screwing clockwise, you want to apply the Teflon tape counterclockwise. Otherwise, it's going to unravel and bunch up when you're screwing it all together. And I do believe the Teflon tape actually comes with the kit. Just make sure that's the case. Otherwise, you're going to have to get that as well. It's a cheap item, only about a dollar. And now we're going to thread the spigot into the bulkhead adapter. And that's all there is to it. We have now successfully converted this garbage can into a rainwater collection barrel. But we are going to take that fitting out and we're going to wrap it with Teflon tape as well, just for watertight connections. And now it's ready to accept a hose. Just more versatility for whatever your application is going to be for this unit. And check out this water pressure. Now another great benefit to using a garbage can over your standard rain barrel is that the lid is removable. It makes for easy cleaning, easy access to the contents inside. And because of that, we can use this in many different ways. In the off season, you can actually still use it as a garbage can. But you could also use this as your own little mini water treatment plant, dechlorinating and removing chloramines from the water. And you can do that very simply by adding a little bit of vitamin C powder to the water. If you want to learn more about this technique, I'll drop a link to a video that I made all about it below. Another possible use is to turn this into a compost tea brewer. You can make a contraption like this, which once again, I've made a video all about how to make your own compost tea brewer. Check the links below. Now I do recommend setting up your barrel on some cinder blocks or elevating it on some sort of platform. The main benefit to this is that you can get a watering can under the spigot easily. Otherwise you're really limiting the functionality of the unit. You can still attach a hose to it if it's flat on the ground, but this way we can quickly fill up a watering can and feed our garden. And that's all there is to it, my friends. This is a very low cost option. One of the major setbacks to buying a ready-made system is the cost. You can get a garbage can like this around $20 and the rain conversion kit is only another $12. 
And because garbage can lids tend to not be airtight, there should be no need to drill any sort of air vent in the lid. But if you want, you can get a little fancy with it. You can drill a hole so that you can route the collecting rainwater right through the lid. And if you need to vent the system because you got pressure building up as the water is releasing because it's an airtight lid, just drill a small hole, put a little bit of window screen over it, and you're good to go. But all you really need to do is just crack the lid a little bit and route that rainwater right into the can. And I'd be interested to hear from you guys as well if you've got any further ideas or if you found this project helpful or at least entertaining in some way. If so, and if you've made it to this part of the video, I sure would appreciate it. And I think I might be able to convince you to smash that thumb button for us. We sure do appreciate it. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel. New uploads every week, sometimes every day. And I'm always giving you updates on all the different things growing on around here. So with that, I want to thank you all for watching. Have yourself a great rest of the night. Until next time, this is Dan from PlantAbundance.com. Take care. I'll be talking to you again soon.